What up everybody, Sokar here with uh, episode 19 and today is going to be a very very quick episode because my uh, my arm and shoulder is killing me from uh, an accident I had and that's also the reason I haven't really had videos out or really been working much on it but before that happened I actually uh, did manage to make something and as you can see it has changed somewhat uh, and I believe I will call it the torch um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. It probably isn't advanced enough to deserve a name, but I'll just call it the torch anyway. Because it, uh, I've planted it with netherrack all the way over the top and uh, lit it all on fire. Except for on top completely, because I want to have some system there to try and shut it off. But basically, I've added one more uh, really wide floor to it. And then I added another floor on top of that, which is in the actual fire level. Uh, which is a bit smaller but uh, yeah and beyond that I have been uh, caving and the system seems to be working very very well now I'll go in and show you but uh, we still need to get the facade up oh and of course the bridge I've been working on the bridge as well uh, but the facade still needs to be built and uh, the actual system for killing the enderman needs to be worked out <coughs> so yeah oh my hand my arm is absolutely murdering me. Um, but yeah, let's get up here. And see what we got. We also need to return to the nether very soon. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's going to be more show and tell episode this time and not so much building episode. But as you can see, there's tons of stuff. And if we look up... Well, that's not as many now. Usually there can be up to like uh, 50 guys in there. <laughs> we need to get you out. Okay, one guy down. We need to be able to survive the next hits. <laughs> just wait. Ah, oh, and then another <laughs> came down. Anyway, let's just grab some stuff here. Oh. Let's see how much we get. Alright, <laughs> so I got. <laughs> Not a lot. Well, most of it is in bones, so you can see there was a lot. Yeah, there was a lot of arches. I believe I had like one, one or two stacks on me when I started this. And of course, we have an Enderman there, which I don't want to fuck with. But uh, yeah, basically the system really does work. It seems like they have moved, you know. As I believe I actually said this in the last episode, but I'll say it again. It seems like they have moved, you know, the Goldilocks zone, you know, which, uh, and by that I mean what is the best range to be at for mobs to actually spawn. As you can see, boom, it's just bumbi bumping out a lot now. It seems like if you're standing directly in there, you'll have problems getting a lot of spawns. You'll still get plenty, but if you move away from it, you know, like standing on this end of the bridge, where I was actually standing before, like standing right here, as you can see, it seems to be loading up much better. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah, I have been uh, I've been digging oh. around, uh, got my supplies back in order, got a lot of redstone. Well, a lot and a lot, but it's plenty, and lots of um, gunpowder from the uh, from the map system. And then we're back to the old standard style. I have some, yeah, I've gotten some stone again. I basically used it all up for building that tower. And as you can see in my long-term storage, uh, and my coal storage, I actually replenished that as well. I've used all my coal. I had like a, a whole chest of coal at some point, and that's all gone. And uh, yeah, as you can see, in long-term storage, I have almost no... Yeah, I got some gravel. Uh, but I got almost no uh, cobblestone left, so actually, did I take my... Yeah, I did. So we're low on resources, but we'll get there. And uh, I still want to finish that mob trap before I start doing anything else. Uh, I'm thinking uh, for experience we will be working with we'll be working with spawners, and that's where I actually had a thought. Remember in episode nine, I had if you haven't seen it, then uh, you can see it. I found two cave spider spawners. And they were like there was like three blocks in between them, uh, and they were hanging hanging over lava. 
very crazy stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't copy that part of the cave system with me over to this new world, which I had to do, by the way, in case you're a new viewer, because 1.9 completely ruined the map generation. So even though I waited for 1.8 exactly to avoid that issue, I had to uh, change it up anyway. But uh, I have a so I'm asking you guys: Do you think it would be okay if we uh, we took that part of uh, the old um, the old uh, map, you know, so we could get those two spawners? Uh, because I doubt we'll get uh, another as good situation going. Uh, so leave me a comment about that. I really want to know what you guys think about that. But until then, I had this training room, which is very, very, you know, <laughs> it's very. Um, brute force or whatever, it's very uh, crude, crude that's the word for it, it's very crude but it works very slowly though. I've uh, lit it up now to shut it off and of course I'm walking around on half slaps to prevent any other spawning. So, but if you don't think it would be okay to do that, I think we'll use this, um, what's it called, um, hmm. this um, zombie spawner. And then I will make that into some sort of uh, mob trap, which we can use for experience. That will, though, have to wait until I get uh, until my hand gets better. It will get better. It's not the like a computer injury. It's uh, because I fell or I was pushed when I was in uh, hitting the town last week or earlier this week. Actually, was it early? I don't even remember anymore. It was. Um, I was out somewhere drinking and with my friends and apparently I hit on a girl who had a boyfriend and he didn't appreciate that and when I'm drunk I'm not very diplomatic so I might have been a bit of a jerk and he pushed me and but then after that he was like oh are you okay and stuff so it wasn't because he was badass or nothing it was just uh, I don't know I'd have done the same thing as I would if I was him so but I would have done the same thing again if I was me as well so I don't know, but uh, yeah, that will have to wait until my arm gets back in order. But actually, you know what, I think I'll just uh, call it here. I can't build anything, and I've sh showed you the few changes that's, that's happened. You know, the frame and the fire on top, and I also worked a bit on it on the inside, you know, that the sticks out there. That's where I want the like, lava to flow down, like one pillar down for the shut up mechanism but we still need to do something in the bigger floors because they won't shut down with the lava so there's still some stuff left to figure out but uh, we'll we'll take that one uh, in like I don't know uh, hopefully very soon but uh, it might be a few days again but yeah oh and also Skyrim is so is out in very 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 soon and once that happens I'm uh, I'm gonna be playing that a lot, and there's gonna be videos out of that, and uh, hopefully it will be more uh, video friendly now that there there's a lot of um, what's it called, a lot of voice acting in it. Uh, so hopefully that will be really great. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that as well. Um, but we'll take that when it comes. Anyway, guys, so that's it for this time. Again, if you enjoy my channel. Uh, enjoyed this video please leave a like so that we can uh, help spread the word about uh, of it and um, remember to be subscribed and uh, yeah I believe that's that's that so uh, yeah take care everybody and I'll see you in the next video there's fire on it <laughs>